imagine a world where at the flick of a switch you could beam across space to whatever destination you'd like, without having to spend hours on a bus stuck in traffic with a group of noisy school kids. Well, all you would need is a teleportation device. Now, the typical BMO Scotty kind of teleportation works pretty much like a fax machine. Your entire body would be scanned in some futuristic MRI device, and the details about your atomic configuration would then be sent to a distant location, where it would be used to construct an exact replica of yourself. Now, if you don't want to arrive at your destination with a leg sticking out of your head, you would, of course, want to scan yourself accurately enough. But that is where the problem lies. You see, there's this little thing in physics called the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, which says that the more accurately you try to scan something, the more you have to disturb it, and the more you will change it. So for years, scientists believed that teleportation was just a science fiction pine dream. But in 1993, a bunch of smart-ass physicists found a way to circumvent Heisenberg's principle by using something called entanglement. Now, entanglement is one of those quirky concepts from quantum mechanics which even Einstein called spooky. If you entangle two particles, they will share a magical but invisible bond, such that if one particle gets affected, the other one will feel it too, no matter how far apart they are. So the key to teleportation is to use this entangled pair as a communication channel to transmit information you want to teleport from one place to another. Now, it might sound rather magical, but two years ago, a team of scientists set foot on the Canary Islands and managed to teleport a particle of light from La Palma to Tenerife over a distance of 143 kilometers. So, if we can teleport particles, can we also teleport a human being? Well, the problem is our body consists of more than a quadrillion atoms, each of which is yet entangled, digitized, and teleported. But all that information will fill billions and billions of gigabytes of data, which would take more than 350,000 times the age of the universe to transmit. So basically, teleportation would take forever. <laughs> then there's a problem we're not actually teleporting matter, but only the information contained in the matter. So as the information about you would be sucked out of your body, you would get pulverized to the atoms. And the person walking out to the other end of the pipeline would be nothing more than a clone. You would have died in order to teleport yourself. But let's not despair, because human teleportation is theoretically possible, and these are well, just technological problems. So who knows who Scotty might be beating up 10 generations from now. But for the moment, it's probably quicker and safer to buy another bus ticket. <laughs>